your content is available. Thank you for downloading the progressive insurance set. Your content is ready to use. You can find it under the fire menu. All right, so once I bought the game from an American server, because after all, the game got released in America a little earlier on than the rest of the world, I guess I also might have released in Asia at the uh, same time. But that is really pointless. It really makes no difference. What we did see, or I saw, was that you guys in America have a lot more DLCs available to you than we do in Australia. You've got that Colgate stuff. I think you placed like some dentists or allowed you to play some dentists and I think there was like an emergency um, medicine on Frontier pack or something. Red Cross, that's what it was. An emergency Red Cross pack. Unfortunately, I forgot to download that. I might as well do it and hopefully it'll work when I'm playing on an Australian IP. Uh, but apart from that, there was a, another DLC. Let's just slow down time because we've got a couple of problems going on. I don't want things to get too bad, uh, including power. Um, wow, that's no good uh, that we are running out of so much power. Let's see how this is going then. Obviously, it's not doing too well, is it? Uh, I'll play some makeshift. Here we go. I thought we only had, ever had two things available to us. Oh, okay. Well, let's see how much power this will give us. 5.1 megawatts an hour. Nothing spectacular here, folks. But we've got to do what we've got to do. I want to get that massive fusion power plant, but that's going to take a little while to unlock that. I just want an excess of power for the time being. Get these to start up, and then we'll be in a much better place. But what I do want to have a look at is this, the progressive office, which is something new. I've got no idea what it does, so I'm kind of scared. But uh, when, oh, well, let's just read this anyway. Uh, with the progressive office, your city buildings will be covered against catastrophes. You can insure your buildings and get some money back if you're hit by a disaster. Adjust your coverage rate to change how much money you receive and it's free so i might as well place it even though it's gonna serve no purpose to us because we've turned off disasters completely oh blue fonts residents are calling the progressive office to make sure they're covered i mean assuming this is like hopefully it's not some obamacare um propaganda or anything but let's see insurance coverage coverage rates 50 percent all right coverage begins april of year one Premium cost $5,000 a month. And then claims, there's obviously not going to be any claims because there's no disasters. Unless they count fires and robberies and all that as disasters. Which I don't think they do. This will actually fit right in with a futuristic city, but it's not it. Let's have a look. Whatever you say. Yay, Progressive is in Mount McCaw. Good idea, mate. Wink, wink. We conveniently set your coverage to 50%, but feel free to raise it or lower it whenever you want. Crank it up to 80% when you want to feel safe or drop it to 10% and live dangerously. If something happens to your city's buildings, Progressive will refund a portion of the cost of the buildings depending on where you've set your coverage. Don't worry, we're here for you. Like, I might as well keep this, but I don't think it'll be too special or anything. Oh, we've got some fires to extinguish. There's a fair few things that I want to do. I also want to build another city because uh, I was looking at the DLC and supposedly, I don't know how I got it, but actually we won't be able to see it here. We've got to click on a mega tower. Oh, they got problems. Uh, but if we go to crowns, the Skyclops Coaster Crown is supposedly also some DLC. I thought it came in the original game, but we need a Department of Tourism in the region. And it'll give us a lot of low wealth and medium wealth tourists. That's pretty cool. Uh, in the meantime, you guys aren't doing too bad. Uh, have we even started researching? No, we haven't. We need some extra schools and all. Let's have a look at what we need to upgrade this. All right, a thousand students. Actually, very close to that. I don't think I've even placed any bus stops or anything down either, which is quite surprising. Uh, you guys still complaining of power. Well, this episode, I don't... I think I'm going to have to... Oh, God. Mountains galore here. Look at that beautiful texture right there. Mm-hmm. Uh, but where is Tamarind Island? All the way over there. You can just see it. Uh, we've got to research the fusion power plants, which will pretty much cover the whole region once we build it. The advanced fusion power plant. What's happening over here? Let's upgrade this first. 
And wow, well, we're very close to being able to upgrade it yet again. Uh, so I'll just build a normal fire station. Roughly around the industrial area. So that makes a lot more sense. What have I done over in this area? Absolutely nothing. That'll be commercial. And then the rest of this will be residential. Hopefully we'll be able to fit in a mega tower just over here. And then we'll join them up. What I like is uh, building the mega towers far away from each other. So once they get to a rather high point, then you're able to build the sky bridge. And it looks really cool because the sky bridge will like travel around the whole map. Which I think would look pretty good. I, apart from that, it's not like I really know what looks good in a city, as you might be able to tell by my weird city designs. Although I do like circles. They are very efficient, although there's too many intersections. You can see this being a problem. Alright, so let's get to work. High traffic congestion? I don't think so. Uh, what we'll need is some bus stops, some school ones, and it seems like I've already beat myself to it. Which is good. Uh, we need... Okay. You need more shoppers. Indeed you do. I'll give you another level. Although I don't want to go too crazy. Medium wealth seems like it's a thing. Even though that was a low wealth more level. I'll still take that. All right, let's make sure we keep on teaching those students all that they need to know. Um, oh wow. Both these guys are very close to each other. Then we've got Omega Co. I really need to fix up some things over there. Actually, I might do that this episode. Have a look. Oh, that's one of those Sky Choppers. Sim News 7. Uh, what I should do is with you place that up top. For $3,000, that's pretty good. These houses are going to burn down, though. Oh, here we go. This is one of those trucks. Progressive car. Returning to the progressive office came from the Schleuser residence. It's not like I'm going to be able to pick it out from here. Oh, God. Three fires now. Hopefully, we'll be able to solve those problems very shortly. Here we go. You're ready to respond to fires. You better be ready to go any moment now. I like the icon of the progressive office. Coverage begins next month. I could also beautify our city. I'm not really quite sure what I should go for. I think I just want just some basic stuff. Nothing too extravagant. Let's place a couple of excitatoriums here. There and everywhere. Uh, let's fit one in here. There we go. Make all these people happier. Futurize a lot of the city. There we go. At least they are fighting the fires now. This, oh god, this is on fire. It's all so many fires. Let's just hope our whole city doesn't burn. Which it won't. So now we've got some guys working for us. Uh, the high school. Better be teaching some students soon. Uh, we got this upgrade available. I'll take that. Can't do any research yet. Jeez, they're pulling this for quite a while. Then again, we're playing at normal speed, which is quite unlike me. There you go, if we speed things up. Right, they actually might be able to beat this fire in this one. Oh god, there's another fire starting up. It's like a chain, never-ending chain. Come on, guys, you can do it. Oh, this one's starting up. Let's just hope the next one isn't. Here we go. Seems like we've beat the fire itself. Allow some new houses to be built up. There's a robbery in progress, which is never any good. So we've built this. You're okay. Uh, seems okay. There we go. 
They're making us money, which is good. Hey, it seems like most of Mount Macor is high tech. Pretty unbelievable. Really? Uh, but I need to work out uh, what those VTOLs do, because a lot of you guys were commenting on that last episode. I think, actually, I just want to stay at Mount Macor at the moment. Focus on this. Uh, make it grow out. Here we go. It's growing out quite a bit. See this progress into a very fulfilling and big city. I've got backed up pipes. And this will actually make people unhappy, won't it, as well? I wonder what would happen if I tried building up something there. Like all the way up there. Let's go with this. Free form roads. Do something a little crazy. Here we go. What the hell? I got that to work. That is quite surprising that it wasn't too steep. Alright. I'll take it though. Alright, we'll do that there and then place this. Really? You're not letting me place it very do much over here, are you? It is quite hilly though, I'll give him that. Too hilly for us to place anything here. So what I could do, place another sewage outflow pipe here. What? Why are you guys unhappy? Let's see. There we go. That's uh, roughly split evenly across the city, so none of them should be too bad. But we need to work out where we're going to place the sewage sanitizer. Making ridiculous amounts of money. What from? I guess the Mega Tower helps out. Yeah, Mega Tower is another source of income, really. Which help you out a lot. There we go. Everyone's happy here. I don't want to expand too quickly, though. What do we have over here? Okay, you're pretty happy as well. Um, let's go with... I mean, I just want people. You know what? I'd love to see what would happen if we built the Skybridge Station like level 1 or 2 and connect it up to the 8th level. I think that would look pretty cool. So I might as well build that. Which is going to cost us a bit of money. Um, because we're going to be losing on the Sky Bridge for quite a while. So it won't even be used. Wow, that looks nice. With that sitting in the background. But it looked pretty cool with the Sky Bridge from a low level going all the way up to a high level. Definitely got to try that out. What's happening here? The Mayor's House. Build that there. Gotta love all the smiley faces. Looking good. Oh, these guys don't get smileys. Well, the town's full of death. Really? That's no good. Uh, let's see. What can we do about that, though? Uh, select a claimed connected city to volunteer vehicles. Guess we aren't really connected by road to any of the other cities. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we aren't. At all. Alright. I've also got this Kingfisher Cliffs, which you guys haven't even seen once. Uh, Alright. So, well, I'm making a lot of money here. I might as well get a hospital. Because it needs to be placed somewhere here. Um, no, I won't place it there. I think what I need is another, like, road here. It's just too much space. Build something really light at the moment. Actually, no, we'll go there. So I don't want to create another intersection. I think I'll have to. Go to curvy roads. Do something like that. There we go. Might not be the best looking road. Might not add all that much, but I'm happy with it. Here we go. We're getting some higher density buildings as well. That's going to suck up a lot of our money, but no problems. We're making a fair amount. 
need a bit more electricity, which I'll go ahead and do, as I said, in my own time. We'll research the academy, um, things that we need to research so we can start making a lot of electricity. And a lot of you guys are saying that because like the advanced fusion power plant is so good, wouldn't it make the this the solar farm obsolete? Because all it gives us is power, the solar farm. It allows you to power pretty much a whole region as well, or at least the cities that are connected to it, yeah. So, oh, all right, so this is split right down the middle here. So Tapir Valley and Tamarind Island are together, whereas Kingfisher Cliffs and Mount Macquarie are together as well. Now have a closer look like this here. Seems like it's got a bit of problems, needs a fire service and all. But this is actually looking pretty good as well. This two can <laughs> all right. It's got Mount Macaw, which is a bird, Macaw. Osprey is a bird as well. Kingfish is a, oh, okay, that's pretty, I see what they did there. So we did that EA and Tapia Valley, Anaconda Bay, Jaguar Ridge, and Tamarins. A Tamarins, not Tamarins, will like, like a uh, citrus fruit. I guess they're animals. That's pretty funny what they did with the. I completely missed that. All right. Oh, you clever bastards, EA. All right. Or Maxis. Surprisingly, I haven't like named any regions so far that I've seen Llama Hills or something like that. So I do know that EA and their obsession with llamas are quite ridiculous. I want to keep on. I wonder what happens if we futurize our whole city. That'd be interesting to check out. Finally, we're teaching students here. I still need to be teaching more students. No, thank Rick's you. Console. See, but it doesn't add that doesn't add desks does it i'm pretty sure it doesn't let's see how much this costs per hour 500 dollars an hour i don't even want that i don't think i'm pretty sure it doesn't increase our capacity i just need to be bringing more people students into here oh, but this doesn't have bus stops either so people come in here themselves it's not like they need school buses. All right. Um, let's see. How realistic? Okay. All right. So it is fairly realistic for us to go ahead and get some street cars in here. Wouldn't street cars and then maglevs be a bit obsolete? A bit redundant. Too much of the same stuff. I think I might as well just go straight with the maglevs, shouldn't I? I think that's what we'll do actually. It'll cost us a fair bit. Alright, oh, I need control net. Ah, and I don't have any control net over here. That is a problem. Yes, no neighboring control net providers. So we need one of these places. We'll probably go with Osprey or something. Uh, to go ahead and create some control net for us over on this side of things because both these cities are well this one's focused on Omega this one's really not focused on anything just on education really right, so let's turn this off which looks a bit silly like just a singular monorail just wasting people's time and all that's what you guys have to say Man, to advance Mount Macaw into the future, we need high wealth workers. It will drive research into new technologies. Oh, actually, you know what? I don't see any reason as to why I shouldn't have high wealth over here. Maybe I should get rid of these excitatoriums and actually place some high wealth buildings. What's your guys' problems? Deaths, deaths, deaths. Building fire and building fire. All right, we'll have to have a closer look at the hospital soon. Let's go back to deleting this stuff. Actually, let's even see if it... Like, what's the point of this? Like, uh, what is the point of low wealth parks and all? I guess it gives Sims a place to relax. But I don't think it increases land value, does it? Let's have a look. No, it definitely doesn't. But yeah, I see no reason as to why we can't focus on... 
high wealth over in this city, actually. Just the mega towers that are not all that high wealth and all, but whatever. All right, so let's go back to the parks. Formal, actually, no, we want plaza. Here we go. Let's get a Millennium Plaza over on this side and on this side. Alright, let's just keep futurizing the way we are. And... No, okay, that's good enough. Here. There we go. And let's place another one right over here. Beautiful. Maybe even over here as well. Jeez, like, how much do they cost now? Some that I missed. Oh, 480 now. Shite. No wonder we're losing money. Uh, also, look at all the people that left. Jesus Christ, the whole city's changing. <laughs> Just like that. Alright, we'll start making good money very shortly as well, once more people start coming in. Some of I sort of paid a bit more attention to how much this costs an hour. 480, jeez, that is a lot. Compared, well, I guess they do fill up a lot of the uh, map. And of course they futurize a large area, so that's pretty good. And we're back to making money now. Oh, back to losing it. Jeez, we've lost a lot of people. From 27 to 15,000 people. There you go. And here we go, they're all coming in. Back into their houses. This is going to look pretty cool. Two big skyscrapers hopefully coming up in this area. There we go, here comes the money. What's your problem? Business is bad. What business is that? New Bradium MFG. Brady on you what MFG stands for. I uh, say so the hospital. Let's go over here. 14 deaths a day. Lots of people that are injured. We're treating a good amount of sick people. I'll keep it as it is at the moment. We'll see how um, our high wealth buildings work out. Okay, you guys are just going out here. Seems like that works out for the best. And now we can go ahead and uh, maybe get some control there. Let's check out the population. High wealth. It doesn't actually show us exactly how much there are. Detail, high wealth, 115. Workers, that is. Alright, let's get out of here. Still way too many injured people. I'm not really going to do much about that yet. I want to go over here. Here we go. Not enough control net. I know, I know. Do I need an academy? I don't think I do. I think I'm able just to go straight for the control net facility. I should be able to do that anyway. And this improves, yes, what high wealth land value. So let's have a look at where Land Valley isn't the best over in this area. She will do it right over here. Okay. There you go. One house has changed. Hopefully a couple will too. But now we'll be able to get a bit more control net. Uh, so then we'll be able to get a maglev system up and running. And we've got a couple of things that we need to fix up over here though, such as this garbage overflowing, it definitely is overflowing. It's probably a very stinky city. Uh, but we need to go ahead and uh, focus on this side of the region, which has been neglected for a bit. So this is looking quite nice now. It will only start looking better as we go on. Let's go back to Land Valley. Check out this area here. That's something I definitely need to improve as well. Uh, I might actually just go ahead and go straight this. Okay, hopefully that changes a bit. It has over here. Uh, but we'll be back with another couple of episodes. Slow down on these episodes, SimCity episodes just a little bit to one a day at the moment. But 
hopefully we'll pick back up tomorrow because we've been playing a couple of other games at that but until next time guys i'll see you later and if you're still enjoying the series make sure you give it a like and if you don't like something that i'm doing make sure you dislike and also tell me what i'm doing wrong how i can improve because i do read all the comments even though youtube's messaging system well i think you guys already know my thoughts on that but until next time i'll see you later